Thank you, Mr. Arad. Thank you very much for being with us. And um, innovation, experimentation, and research have uh, always been guidelines of your career. Uh, our designer can be innovative today. Is it a matter to be updated? Is it talent uh, to be in the proper milieu? It's about having the right attitude. I, th I would say all of the above. I think there's no formula. Sometimes you discover new things by chance, sometimes by research, sometimes uh, you look for one thing and you find another. It, I'm not a methodical person, so I, my favorite thing is to get results that are better than what you deserve. Like when I started this project, I had no idea that one day all these cars will come home to the place where they were made. You know, I just started the journey and here we are at, at, uh, at a really great uh, moment of the journey. So it's not something I can take credit for. I never thought it's, you know, just things happen. So it's always a mixture of, of intention and luck. But maybe it's not luck completely, maybe the ability to recognize, you know, like, uh, but I'm not, uh, I'm not an innovation center. And I don't, uh, I don't believe in, in uh, putting on the flag innovation. Innovation comes. Uh, to me, design means uh, uh, think about and take care. Uh, what do you think it is? There are several issues now linked to design activities, social, environmental, that are quite important, in particular nowadays. Everything is important, but uh, nothing should be put on the flag. I don't believe in manifestos. I think that people that talk about, uh, I don't know, ecological, environmentally friendly, green design, and put it on, you know, make it the main activity, very good, they get brownie points, and uh, good boy. I think, yes, we have to be responsible. We have to worry about things. I'm really worried about child slavery and I, I mean for me it's like more direct than uh, than the hole in the ozone I know that I'm, I'm being naive here the hole, in, the hole in the ozone is also very important and I'll do whatever I can I will choose materials that are better and uh, more recyclable and all that but I won't make it my main activity you know I'll, it is something that we have to <clears throat> to pay attention to, but it shouldn't write our lyrics. Uh, designing and making project is also about dialogue uh, with the public, with companies, and with entrepreneurs, with other designers, uh, with students. Uh, from which direction are coming the, mo the most interesting sparks, ideas in your experience? I think from the pencil. And from uh, conversations, you know, like uh, I, uh, there's lots of ideas. The problem is uh, what, what ideas do you give time to? Which ideas you choose to follow, you know, like. So I'm very lucky. I have a, a great studio with great people. And uh, I can come on Monday and say, how about doing this? And yeah, great. And, yeah, and it's, you know, it's, it, it is... I made, I spoiled myself, I surrounded myself by a very uh, fantastic group of people in a fantastic place, a walking distance from home. So I'm very lucky like that. So it's, it's uh, and yes, there's colleagues, and yes, there's people, and yes, it would be very sad if everything you do stays with you and, and there's no resonance from people like you from the public you know it's like there are lots of people that are very interested in something and they can't find other people to join them i feel sorry for them and you know it's uh, that's the way it is um, you are working uh, also along the boundaries between art uh, architecture and design are there still meaningful definitions uh, uh, they do they define precise areas or does uniqueness define that? 
I don't like all this discussion about breaking the boundaries and blaring the... It's... I don't need a passport to go from one thing to the other. I know that there are lots of closed shops. Journalists that write about architecture don't write about design. They know nothing about art and the other way around. And it's like... And people like you to... What are you? Are you a designer or are you... An, I do what I do and it's, you know, uh, I know the difference when you design a, a skyscraper, there's a different discussion and different negotiation and different meetings and different people involved, different objective. When you do something that is for mass production, different requirements, you know, different economy. And when you do pieces that what, what we call studio pieces, not to say art, because I don't want this, this we call this studio pieces, you don't have to negotiate anything with anyone, you know, you just do it because you believe it's a worthwhile thing to do, and that's what you do. Uh, I don't need to justify it, I don't need to have anyone's approval, you know, it's just, uh, so, and I like doing all of them, I don't want to stop, I'm sitting on the chair here that I've designed for an Italian company, and it's made in a very, in rotation molding, you know. So, and they wanted a rotation molded chair, so I have to think, you know, what's the best thing we can do for them? And also for me to design is to do something that didn't exist before I designed it. And it's different than doing the chair that's there in the, in the front, which is like the similar activity to action painting. It's just the metal, the hammer, the welder, the spray can. Different, you know, they're both chairs. They're both very good to sit on, but different destination. That is for shops, the other one's for galleries. Now, do I break boundaries? There's no boundaries. And there's a new generation of makers, 3D printers, uh, new and more accessible software and hardware, and consequently self-made designers coming up with the rise of new technologies. How, how do you see this scenario? I see that it's just making a tool, a tool bag richer. I know there's a big buzz about 3D printing now, which is about 10 years too late. I mean, it is, for me, a five-axis milling machine is as exciting as a 3D printer. It's yet another another advance in technology to make more things available. It doesn't make better design, the same way as the new synthesizer didn't produce better music. It just meant that there was a period of inflation and lots of people thought they're musicians because they can play with the keys. The wooden mold that I have behind me there was done before computers were used in the industry before CNC machine by artisans that and by people that could do drawings and uh, and do masterpieces like this. This is a masterpiece more than uh, things that employ the latest technology. So it's all good. I mean, I'm I'm all for new materials, new processes, new technologies, new everything. But it's just yet another tool in my bag. Thank you very much, Mr. You're welcome.